Hi everyone. All right, let's get started. We're going around the world. Aries to Pisces. <clears throat> and happy holidays. All right, let's do it. Aries. Okay, so the first thing when I pulled these cards was <clears throat> you're definitely looking back and missing someone, right? And trying to trying to keep it, you know, together with regard to whatever has happened in the past, right? It's like when you look back, you're thinking about the things that you discussed that, you know, things that you talked about when you look back and you're in the, let's say, I mean, these two are naked, okay? So they're definitely healing. So your masculine and feminine side is definitely healing. The good news is, <coughs> excuse me, you're looking back in order to learn, you know, some of you, like we all know that it takes two, you know, in a relationship. So if there is a loss of a relationship that has gone, you're figuring out, you know, figuring out by asking yourself questions like, okay, so here's how the convo went. How, how can I learn from it? What responsibility can I take from it? And and I'm going to heal for however long it takes, of course, um, needing to take as much time as, po as need be to heal, okay? You can either look back, so they're showing me this. You can, you can either look back with good memories and good times, or you could say, you know, they suck. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, these are the, these are the, in the middle is the star card. You know what I mean? So I think you fluctuate between your emotions with your mindset of this being the action of the illumination of what your heart, what your heart, your heart feels, right? Your heart's feeling like you're either going to say, wow, okay, so that was, you know, that was worth, worth learning about. This person was worth the time that I spent. I mean, not everyone, not many people can say that for sure. Or it's, and or, I have to say, it's, you know, wow, well, that really sucked. I wasted my time. It wasn't worth my time. You know what I mean? So it's either or, and you're trying to balance, which the star is here to show you, is to stay in your authentic feels of, of what you've learned in the, you know, with this, any situation, maybe you're doing a, an overall review of what has come and left out of your life. And it's time to not only look at, you, you got to look at it from a standpoint of authenticity. Otherwise it's no, it's, it is going to just, your ego is going to get in the way. This is your ego for sure. This is your ego that says, well, I didn't, I didn't do anything wrong you know, or they're crazy, or, you know, they're the ones that have, they're bipolar, or what have you. I say it because, you know, that's how people think. On the other hand, someone's saying, wow, I miss that person. They gave me so much joy. Every time they came into my life, I felt this inner peace. I could be myself. So, like I said, in the middle is the star card. 
So take both of these, both of these, the eccentric, right? The eccentric of the ego and take the action of your heart space and merge them together to heal. You got it? Because honestly, we all have to take responsibility for where we've been and and who we've been with and the feelings that we've had for others. You know, there it's just you just can't point the finger and say it was all their fault, you know, fuck them. You can say that, but you know. But don't you know better? Okay. Let's get a card here for Aries. I look for you everywhere. Do you see what I mean? So if you are missing someone so desperately, come to grips, come to terms with the truth, your raw truth. They're naked. Really. That's the only way you're going to settle this. Are you still searching for them to come back? Are you waiting for them to come back? Do you think they're going to come back? That's a different story. Let's look at a love card. I'm doing love cards this, you know, it's the holidays. Come on. Someone spent a lot of time in a relationship, you know? This is this is some this is a relationship that had its ups and downs. You know what I mean? Like all relationships do. But there was a lot of ego, but also a lot of heart. And that's hard to balance in a relationship. Especially if the one that is more egoic. Can't, you know, can't come to terms with it. All right, you deserve love. Look at that. This is a Sag card, by the way, right? But this is the target. You aimed at the target. But the emotional fragrance of this card deems that you may have opted for this person to be your person, the target of your desires. However, the emotions, right? These, these waters are It's like you didn't, it's like someone didn't go with the flow. It's like we couldn't go with the flow. Someone wanted to go with the flow, but couldn't get their ego out of their own, it, it got in their own way. Someone's this feminine. I mean, this could be an Aquarian because we have Aquarius here. We have and Gemini. But this is a, a str really strong-willed feminine. I mean, no kidding. This, this person knows what she wants. She's like, she really is the star of her own show, right? And people, you know, watch her. You know, this person could be Aries if you're dealing with someone in the limelight or, you know, they have some, they have an audience, if you will, right? But the emotions are too chaotic. It's too chaotic. And if you are searching for them to come back or you're looking on their social media platforms or 
they're in the public eye, what have you. It only adds, you know, some sadness to, to the flavor of looking back. Okay, Taurus. And yeah, it is the time. You know, it's it's the season, right? It is. It it how does how does it happen? Let's think about that for a minute. How does it happen that during the holiday season it's more magnified? And during the rest of the year, it's like, you know, oh, fuck them, I'm out, I don't care. They can do what they want. I mean, you may look back and still, you know, point the finger and blame others. I'm talking in general now. But truly, the holiday season is for gathering, is for rejoicing, is is you know, that warm and cozy feeling of <coughs> having another. Okay, Taurus. Taurus, what's going on? Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords? Knight of Coins and Ace of Cups. Okay, so relationship ended because oh my gosh um it wasn't it had no growth potential and now you're learning to love yourself i mean that's a given maybe it should have been love yourself first so that you can go forward and learn the lessons maybe that too has happened so if you have found yourself saying you know what i deserve better and I'm going to wait until I heal my wounds. I get out of my own mindset of what really felt you have felt, or let's say how you talk to yourself more than feeling. How you talk to yourself about a relationship that couldn't sustain or couldn't go the distance is what you're right now thinking about. You have a 10. And you have an ace. So all new beginnings for Taurus. It's a slow roll. It is. It's going to be a slow roll. Why? Because Ten of Swords is a lot. Ten of Swords is like, you know, going back to the drawing board and saying, what did I say? What did I not say? How do I feel? Why couldn't this grow into something real? Someone didn't want to put the time in. Maybe they didn't put the effort. Someone obviously was wearing a mask, was very guarded in the relationship. You know, the Knight of Coins is the slowest night. It's like, okay, come on already. That kind of thing. Sorry, I'm messing with, messing with my hair. Some of you, um, you just wanted more. And this person, I mean, Taurus, maybe you were the one that couldn't give more. This is your card. Do you know what I mean? Maybe someone wanted much more than they were literally able to give. Not willing. Difference. Able. All right, let's see what the hidden truth is for Taurus. <clears throat> I feel you even though we're apart. Yeah, because this is like your holy grail. So this person was like your person, right? So if that's the case... Then what happened? I'm going to get one card for you guys. I feel bad. Ten of swords for Taurus, please. An immature Leo Aries Sag. 
playing games. I mean, this is the mischief maker. Look, look at her, look at how she's looking or he's looking, right? This person wasn't on the, uh, on the up and up. I'm just telling you, they're not. Look at, they're, they're on a game. They're, they're playing games. They're playing games. Maybe they were always playing games, Taurus. I don't know. But they're on a chess piece. Not chess, I'm sorry, checkers. They're not even playing chess. They're playing checkers. So love yourself. And yeah, all right. It's gone. It does hurt. No doubt it hurts. But in time, everybody gets over it. All right, let's get a love card for Taurus. Oh my gosh. Religious factors. Okay, so guess what? Someone wanted a commitment and the other didn't. Someone could not give that holy grail of love. They weren't ready. You can't make someone be ready. Do you know what I mean? This is the Hierophant. So we have difference, Taurus. We have difference in age, difference in belief systems, different traditions, literal different religions, which, you know, I mean, I could only see that as Jewish Catholic vibe of difference. Or someone was not willing and or interested in, you know, in a full-on commitment. You know what I mean? Your belief systems. I mean, literally, you got to look into the belief systems. You got to realize, does someone want the same things as you? Did they grow up in a traditional environment? How, are, how did they grow up? Do you know what I mean? You have to really look at this. And I'm not talking about religion at all. I'm talking about belief systems and raising. Are you on the same? Are you parallel to someone on every level or above? Do you believe in the same things? Do you believe in how you spend money the same way? Do you believe the, um, you know, your spiritual values, the things that you value? You know what I mean? That has such a, you know, after the sex is gone, not gone, but you know what I mean. After the honeymoon, things get real, very real. And I feel for Taurus, that's what's happened. It's like someone just wants to come in, Taurus, or you, but I think it's the other person. Taurus, someone wants to come in and just say, all right, come on, let's have fun, go out, let's, you know party it up, have sex, and we're done. And I'm out. It's like, did someone use you for just that? All right. Or, or you. I don't know. Gemini. Seriously. Think about it. Gemini. A tower moment. Because why? Why are we hiding feelings? Gemini, what are you hiding feelings and or two and like what's going on here, Gemini? Two opposite, something happens out of the blue. Something's definitely going to happen out of the blue. Like you're going to have this epiphany. Is the epiphany about, oh my God, we're really so different that emotionally... You know, someone's, well, first of all, someone's batshit crazy. Just going to say, I see this as batshit crazy on this, on this card. Do you see that someone may be, someone may be messaging you? We have Sag, Pisces. Honestly, 
It could be any sign, but I can tell you right now, we, we have two people who one is a wolf who is instinctual and knowing. The other is a shepherd who is, I mean, they're both highly intelligent, but they don't, they don't, what are they saying? They don't pray in the same way. Someone doesn't, and I'm not talking the literal sense of prayer. I'm talking pray, P-R-E-Y. I feel like someone is going to get, I'm hearing finally getting some information, right? Gemini that is like, okay, we're, <coughs> excuse me, we're so, Kind of like you're over, you're like, what is it? You're out of your league. Or they are. I think someone's totally off the chain. I do. I'm going to take a card for Gemini. Um, the tower. Tower. Yeah. Mental. I'm telling you right now, this is for real. And I'm not just talking to Gemini. Mental health issues are becoming extremely important. Someone's mental health is of great importance. And someone needs to, to, to see that. I feel that someone's mental health is being shrugged off as they're just batshit crazy instead of saying how can how can i help you here i think out of the blue someone says something off off the cuff or does something crazy or writes gemini may write to you some crazy ass off the chain shit and you're like, they are crazy. But instead, Spirit's saying, why can't you look at this in a different way? How can you help someone find more peace? And, you know, what if they are bipolar? Or what if they have mental health issues? Why aren't we looking at that? Someone also off off topic, someone off out of the blue says, I know how you should handle this. A situation that's going on, Gemini, some you're if you're getting like insight or or whatever to a situation, maybe you're asking family members or friends, how can, you know, how can I deal with someone who's so different than me and is, you know, sometimes has this, has these flares of outbursts and or triggers, how do I deal is really the question instead of just throwing it, you know, or sh like just shoving it under the rug. Um, one more card on the Eight of Wands. There's peace, for sure. A sing being single. Okay. Someone's, okay, you could be dealing with Virgo, Aquarius, Sag, Pisces. So, the scientific mind. Gemini says, that person's batshit crazy. I'm not dealing. The heart, the one that's of heart, says, okay. Let me pray for this person. Let me, let me instill some sort of wisdom to help them be at peace. 
how can I help someone be at peace instead of the other? Someone does something really out of, out of character, says something out of character, does something out of character, or both. The tower. This is like all driven by, oh, they're batshit crazy, I could give a shit, blah, blah, blah. This is, wait a second, how can I help this person? Maybe I need to write them or text them or talk to them. How can I help someone? And this is, fuck them. This is fuck them, this is let me help. Look at the two, look. Do you know what I'm saying? So here we have, I mean, honestly, this is what we're looking at here. And in the middle is the tower. I'm trying to get it all on, on the camera. You see? So I have to. <laughs> I have to. We've got to know what the tower is for Gemini. Yep. Someone says something off, off the cuff, totally out of character, comes dashing in and says, you know what? You're not going to leave me. I'm not going to let you. That kind of thing. Off the cuff, out of the blue, someone comes in to say something. I don't know. Is it? Could it be an insult? You've been waiting for someone to come back to say something. Or for others, it may be, you know what? I, I've been waiting to tell you this for a long time. But I'm going to tell you right now, Gemini, if you're dealing with someone who, whom you're leaving or you left or, you know, you've had, had, you know, you're going through divorce or what have you, I need for you to put yourself in their shoes as well. Because not everything here, we have the ego and we have the heart. So be mindful of how you're going to play this. If it is a divorce, if it's a separation, or if it's just someone's in your environment is literally batshit crazy, how do we deal with these people who have mental illness? Are you just gonna throw someone to the curb because, you know, they may be bipolar or they may, you know, be, you know, eccentric to a point of instability? We will be together again. There it is. Someone's coming in to say, I don't care what you do. You may just throw me to the curb. Who gives a shit? But we're going to be together again for sure. So yeah, that's a mental, that's a mental, uh, it's a displacement. It's a detachment of their reality. Mm -hmm. They don't want, they haven't accepted it. So out of the blue, someone comes in and says, you know, do whatever you want, Gemini to me, but I will always love you and I'm not going to I'm not going to accept that you're, you know, pushing me or you know, pushing me to the curb. This could be the one. Are you sure you Gemini or another is not someone that could be teaching you. Like, look at this. This is, this woman is very young. She's young and he's more, he's more of a wise one. A, very, a gentleman, nonetheless. I don't know, Gemini, I'm, I want to say that if you're thinking someone's off the chain, look again. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to get another one for this one. This could be the one. Not this one, they're saying. <clears throat> who is who is this could be the one? Is this who Gemini's with or someone who's who you have Gemini's left? Yeah, it's who you've left behind. It's like Gemini. You can't sleep because you're worried they're coming back. Someone's haunting you? What's haunting? Maybe this is this was a relationship from your past, obviously, right? And you're, you're, I, you may be totally looking at this person in compl with complete, with, for some of you, it's complete and utter disgust. And for, and for others of you, your vision is, wow, I really thought this was the one that I was going to be with and for sure we'll end up together again. But right now they're batshit crazy. And they're doing things that are extreme, you know, like extreme. So take what resonates, of course, but I feel, Gemini, you need to look at truly at someone's, the, the, is someone really in a mental health issue of, you know, not coming to terms with a separation and or, you know, <coughs> divorce. And they don't care because they don't, they're not, they haven't accepted it yet, right? Or a separation or whatever it is, right? It takes a while. It's just like any other loss. All losses take a while for them, for a loss to register, so to speak, right? You, you really don't, you, you don't understand what another may feel. You may have already checked out, but the other person's not, totally not checked out. All right, Cancer. <clears throat> Cancers. I love this. New opportunities. Wow, you are putting all your faith, which I love, all your faith in how whatever opportunities are coming or going with the flow, knowing that you're being guided in, in whatever um, these cups are showing you, right? It could be the things that you're you know, it could be treasures, inner treasures of rebirth, the key to one's heart. Always know that there's the ego. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, oh my God, it's so funny. I'm seeing kissing too many frogs. The circle of life. And the inner treasures. So you're, you're coming, which is beautiful, Cancer, you're coming out with a lot more inner hidden, not hidden, but inner treasures that you're going to be working on. And you know that you're spiritually being guided to do so. So if you're, if you're looking at other opportunities or avenues of work and or love, right? Because there's two hearts here. Like this makes me feel like, hey, I want, I want to be in a committed relationship that checks off all the boxes. Same with, if it's not love, it's work, right? Aries, Scorpio, Taurus. You know what I mean? It's like 
do do you have all your boxes checked off or you believe if that hasn't happened yet right it's coming and you're going to have the ability to say okay check 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 someone has when you if you're looking for love when you do meet this person you're going to know it's going to be an immediate oh my god this is the person i'm supposed to be with if you're if you are searching and you're trying to check off the boxes And it's not so much having faith in the other person as it is having faith in yourself. <clears throat> it is. You're going down a new path. You really are. And you're letting spirit guide you. I love this. Cancer, this is beautiful. I'm going to get one card on the Seven of Cups for Cancers, though. Seven of Cups for Cancers. Yeah, look at that. A whole brand new cycle is opening up for you. The world is your oyster, truly. Go for it. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, literally, some of you have been praying. And knowing that you're navigating, the navigating, this is a navigation, it's like a safe. Your safety net is everything that you feel, of course, right? You're a cancer. So you stay in your safety net as long as you have, you have what you have because it's at the heart of the matter. It's not what you think. It's what you feel. We know that. You're a cancer. But at the heart of the matter is literally all of the inner treasures that you have to show and to give others. Do you understand? And when this, when you navigate in life, right, cancers, you navigate through each one of these cups, right? You navigate your heart. Your heart has to be, has to be, not so much checking off the boxes, but knowing that the things that you value within your heart are the things that you know to be true to your heart do you get it like we we value a lot of things in life right but when it comes to the heart of the matter which you have the hierophant i mean come on so a new cycle is starting for you and at the heart of all of these which is a seven okay what really matters to you is how your heart feels about everything I'm, you're not going to think about, you're not going to think about it. You, you need to feel your way through. And you already know that. And sometimes you don't do that because you allow, you allow your ego sometimes to get in the way of what you know to be true for you. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's get a card on the Hierophant for Cancers, please. Exactly. Here's your ego. So this is where you have come from, a place of, well, I don't know if this is the right direction. 
I don't know how I feel about this and or that. Because your ego is saying, your ego has, a, you know, has had a little too much. Has changed you, chained your ways of thinking and instead of going full on into your heart. Don't let the ego any longer with this wheel turning. Your navigation system is your feelings. And that is our what our Heavenly Father has given us is our feelings to navigate through life, not the ego. You have navigated, however, cancers with the ego. So you're getting out of that because you believe. And you know better. You know better when you're being played by your thoughts. And, you know, all that ruminates literally in our head space. You're, you're no longer doing that. And this wheel's turning. It's a 10. It's a whole new beginning for you. I mean, <clears throat> these could be love opportunities, job opportunities. It makes no difference. What makes a difference is that you're going with your heart instead of that devil that says, oh, you know what? I should take that opportunity because it's more money. And you're like, uh, I don't think so. Now you're going to say, uh-uh, I'm not doing that. I'm afraid to contact you. I feel, <laughs> really? I feel that's your ego. I feel you, you're putting your ego really to rest. <coughs> and the new way, the way forward is to allow, <coughs> excuse me, allow the yin and the yang to be present. I'm going to take a card for cancers. I have to, come on. Who's afraid to contact you? I feel it's just <clears throat> holding back. Someone's totally holding back how they feel. I feel that you've been, you have had some defeats and you're, you're praying that maybe you're praying for You may be praying for someone to offer you new opportunities. Or if, it's, if this is a stale marriage, let's just say, and someone's been holding back, I feel you're going to change your ways and or someone is. If you have a secret admirer of cancer, that could be too. We have Aries, we have Scorpio, we have Cancer, or uh, sorry, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Well, we have them all except for air signs. Retreat. So for some of you, it's time to take a trip together and get back into your heart space about how and or why you fell in love with this person. Maybe you've been separated from some someone that you love for a while. Maybe seven months, what have you. Seven, nine months. If this is a marriage, it's time to take this marriage to a place where you're not afraid. The devil's just fear. Fear fears itself. Okay, so if you're fearful of being your true authentic self, then this is where you're going to change. You're no longer going to hold back. It's time not to hold back. It really is. It's time to put two people 
two people on the same page right here. It's time to let bygones be bygones and really come out saying I'm no longer afraid that Zeusy drinking is water. I'm no longer afraid, okay? If you're, you know, renewing your vows or meeting someone who does have the potential to make that commitment, and maybe in the past someone was not ready and or financially able, but when the, when, when did the financial part of a relationship change the dynamic of a relationship always doesn't it so it's there's some stuff there are cancers to think about for sure comment please we all have this we all have a story so share your story all right i <clears throat> Want to focus on Leo now, please. Leo. Leo. <clears throat> Five of Wands literally just flipped out. Oh. And the Faith card came out for Leos. With the Lovers. Wow. All right, Leos, what's going on? Leo, this is your card, right? There's inner term, term oil with a loved one. Someone you're married to for sure. You're fighting. Someone's fighting. We're not getting along. You have two fives. Wow. Leo, some of you, um, there's a lot of change that's going on in a relationship and or marriage. There needs to be change. There, without question, this turmoil. Let me see what the Five of Wands and and the Hierophant is. Look at that. It's you. You're having inner turmoil. Is your faith dwindling? About a marriage or you know a committed relationship that you're in. All right, you came out, so let me talk to me. What is it? What is this five of wands for you, Leo? What's wrong? Strength. Are you getting, Leo, are you getting the strength that you need from <coughs> a loved one? A partner and, you know, a marriage partner or... Excuse me, a live-in. You don't want to tell me, do you? <coughs> I feel like you don't want to tell me. I feel that these two, look at that. The mask. Uh, it could be a, a competition between like who you really, who you, who you desire versus who you, I, I will say it, admire. Is it desire, admire, and or are you in a committed relationship um, just for, you know, the sake of being in a relationship, right? This is like a total revamp, reassessment of one's love for another. You know what I mean? It's like, do we really belong together? Do we really, do we really um, have each other's back? Something, the strength part is you. So this is you gaining, this is you regaining your strength. You're praying for, for help, either with a relationship or your health. Let's see what the strength card is for Leo. 
an immature Cancer Pisces Scorpio or a child. Or the love that you have for another is not conducive I feel that you don't feel the same way as some as you used to for another. You're, you know, you're needing to gain strength. Physical strength and emotional strength about a lover, someone you're married to or a loved one. Let's get another, one more card for um, Leo's, please. Yeah, that's what you're telling me. That's exactly what you're telling me. This is victory. This is all you. This is, this is about, about how you feel about a loved one, a marriage, a partner in love. A child, maybe you have, it's the child or the mother of your child. Inner, in your inner turmoil You're, you're having inner t turmoil about the strength and bond of a relationship, a live-in, a marriage. And or the child that you have with this person. Or this person's immature. Did someone not, like, step in and take care of you? Has someone not been there for you that... I feel that you were hoping they were. Let's get a hidden truth for Leo's. I replay our conversations over and over. So this is an issue of maybe it is a past love, right? This could be a love relationship that, you know, has had the potential to be the real deal and it fizzled out or there was competition and or there was an immature feeling of, you know, there was some immaturity here. We have Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag. Well, another, it could be another fire sign, but, or Taurus. I feel you're, you're playing, playing, I feel like you're literally, the inner turmoil, Leo, is wreaking havoc, havoc on you about a former lover, a former marriage, a former marriage with the child of your who's the who's the daddy or mommy right i feel it took so much strength of someone's resolve in order to i guess leave the relationship or or not look at passion <coughs> At the heart of the matter, it's here. Allow your heart and soul to sing. So are you with someone who makes you feel that way? Or are you having, you know, these painful memories? All right, one more card. Healing. Yeah, you're healing family issues. I get that. So maybe a relationship that you are thinking and replaying over and over again. It, it could even be a, not only um, the ex, an ex 
a marriage the through marriage or a live-in but it the replaying of conversations could be a child with you replaying conversations of like what was going right and or what was going awry in a marriage maybe a child was very privy to the onset of right we all have dysfunctional families you guys so you know don't think you're the only ones because that we're on the earth plane so everyone and everything is dysfunctional so i feel like a child a child plays a big part in a relationship that went astray awry that crumbled and it's because issues that were not brought to the forefront maybe after fat the aftermath of right the aftermath of this loss I think you're truly reliving some past relationship that you are still healing over as well. And that brings you to the baby mama or baby daddy. And I feel that you're really um, trying to come to terms with what happened and maybe the conversations you had with with the, the your other person you know, the baby mama or daddy, or it's a, a conversation with a child that you had about your unhappiness and turmoil. Leo, this is intense. You know, I think a child had a huge, had a huge, um, was a huge factor and is a huge factor going forward in terms of why you're not together anymore because it's not like there wasn't passion at some point let me get one on the page of cups for leo's please yeah see that this is scorpio this is someone who's emotionally kind of all over the place All right, I'm going to let, let that go because I could really, I feel like that's a full-on read for um, Leo's. I feel you're dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio and or Gemini whom you were married to and or you have children with that, that may be circumstances beyond one's control ended the relationship right it ended and now you're thinking about it thinking about the convos that you had with <clears throat> maybe you're having convos with your son and or daughter about a marriage that didn't work with their dad or mom and maybe you're finding out some stuff emotional stuff that really is going to hit home for you Okay, let me know. That was deep. But these things have to happen. You know what I mean? These things, not they don't have to happen, but like, it's really good that they do. You know what I mean? So that, so that there are no loose ends. Okay, Virgo. Justice. <clears throat> some of you are dealing with the court systems or what have you let's see what it's about <clears throat> excuse me someone you guys can't sleep because you think that something what's going on in court you have a gemini libra aquarius here libra for sure and or leo
Some of you need rest, mental health rest. Let me see what the justice is for Virgo, please. Wow, Leo just had the can the a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So you could be um, a cusper or you could be a Leo sun with a Virgo moon, what have you. <clears throat> I feel that someone... is going to court or is going to is trying to stand up for another and you're dealing with someone who wants things to be fair right so you're deal Virgo you may be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio where <clears throat> excuse me you don't feel that justice was served or justice was served and you don't like the outcome. But the outcome is still, the outcome is success. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't speak here. Can you, or are you having a hard time speaking about how you feel about something that you're dealing with in the court system or a legal issue? What is this? Let me get another card for um, Virgo on the justice, please. So pending. Is this like something that... The only way that... Okay, so Virgo, listen up. You're trying to strategize big time in a situation dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio where honestly someone needs to get very real and I feel there that once a perspective of how the situation went down or is going down, someone needs to change their mindset and open up to, uh, you know, how is, how are they feeling? Virgo, I think it's time for you to see what someone else is feeling and or thinking in a situation here in order to become victorious. Yeah, you're stuck in a in very narrow-minded, like, blinders on. And Spirit's saying, if you only change the way that you're perceiving something, right? It doesn't have to be legal. But it has to be the way that you're thinking about something or someone of your, you know, past or a relationship that went awry or someone was, was just hanging, someone's been hanging around waiting for you to make a decision or getting out of your own way for your happiness. Like, what's going on with that six of wands? Like, you you want to be happy, but you have to change the way you think. Look at it. It's you. You're telling me. I know that the only way for me to see what I need to see is to get out of my head about what I've always thought wasn't fair, wasn't, you know, this isn't fair. Someone's not treating you right. <clears throat> Maybe someone just left you high and dry, so to speak, left you to fend for yourself. And if you look at it from a different perspective, you may see that that's not what they did at all. Maybe someone was really trying to help you. Someone, the masculine and feminine here, these eyes are closed. Justice and the Nine of Swords. And then you have the Eight of Swords. Someone's sabotaging for sure. Uh, the Hangman, please. Just for, I just got to know. Right? Look at that. The growth. Someone is learning. Learning. Someone is learning from another. How to be, be more authentically real. 
I think you're really going through your Kundalini rising for some of you, getting out of this headspace, the ego, and really ascending to a new light of success. You know, I'm hearing behold, I understand now. Someone maybe not, maybe thought, maybe Virgo, you were dealing with someone who you felt this was unfair treatment. And you don't know their side of the story because you have just been like one way in the highway. I only see it this way. And then you understand. Someone, you know, you finally understand what someone else was feeling or how they have been dealing with certain circumstances with you so that you could grow. I wish I could share my good news with you. There is good news. I left you before you could leave me. Okay, so someone was trying to save themselves from heartbreak by, you know, by leaving first, which that's just a defense mechanism, right? So Virgo, you could have left someone before they had, before they could leave you, okay? And I feel like I'm readjusting, which is the perception. I feel that you perceived a situation with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio completely different than what is truly, what's truly going on. And now this person, you, this person is no longer in your life. And you're like, man, I can't even tell you the good things that are coming my way since I've learned so much over the course of time, which we do. We, you know, you get out of your, you get out of this narrow minded perception of, of what's not fair. And now you're dealing with, wow, I've had time to really work on myself and I wish I could tell you what I've learned throughout the course of time but I can't because you're no longer in my life someone's really grown and they want they want to tell the person that they love that they've grown and share that with them or their successes. You know, they may have climbed up the ladder, right? That tree of life is not only the chakras that they've worked on, but maybe it's, I've really um, come into my own and I wish I could share that with you, but I can't because you're no longer, you know, it's not, and it's not fair that I can't share it with you because you're not in my life right now. Or maybe I can't have you back in my life and share these things with you which isn't the which is not fair is how you feel you're telling me the story virgo and sometimes it's not like they're not going to see you succeed or they're not watching they may still be watching all right, Libra. Three of Swords. What is going on, Libra? Oh my, oh my God. Three of Swords, two of Swords, and seven of Swords? Are you kidding me? Libra. You could be dealing with an Aquarian. My Lord. What is going on? Someone's scorned. This is scorned. When you look back, when you look back, what do you see, Libra? Do you see someone who had ulterior motives, hidden agendas? Someone hurt you. This is like major hurt. Someone hurt your heart. She's holding her heart.
Like, I don't know what to do. I didn't, I really feel that you, Libras, whomever, whomever is dealing with a broken heart doesn't know how to deal with someone who played them. And you can see the fire behind. This already happened. Look at all this. Someone, you got played. Let's look at the Seven of Swords for um, Libra, please. You got played. Okay, for some of you, it's a third party, but others of you, I'm going to say it. For a lot of you, it was money issues. Someone was not upfront about money, whether they're making it, how much they're making, <coughs> what they're doing what they're doing to make their money. Someone's like, seek, someone is holding some massive secrets about how they make their earnings, how they make their money. And uh, I think that you really want no part of it, but it still hurts. I mean, no, no doubt. Shit. You have two threes. Someone could have chosen their money right? Money over you. I'm not saying you don't have money, but you know what I mean? Like, did they not value you? You're at three? Two of swords, please, for Libra. Yeah, they didn't value you. They didn't see your worth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Someone thought they could walk all over you. Three of Swords for Libra. It's your card. Look at that. A Leo Aries Sag. Mm-hmm. Libra. A Leo Aries Sag or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn thought they could walk all over you. They're, they're hurt, and so are you. Okay, so some of you, it's your pain, but for others, it's like, I'm hearing the scam artist got scammed. They played, they played, they played the game but lost. Someone was not upright, righteous about money, about their hidden motives and or intentions with regard to your money and how they see you and or value you. They didn't, they don't. You've got your peace of mind here though. I just want you to know, you do have your peace of mind. You're living your, you know, you're in your own home, you're feeling good, you're making your money, but someone's scorned. Now, I thought it was you at first, but I'm feeling it's this Leo Aries Sag. I feel a Leo Aries Sag lost at their own game. I'm just saying. I feel that they thought they could get away with something. Literally. What were they trying to get away with? Did someone take money from you? Did someone take, you know... Stealing money, stealing ideas. Do they think that you stole money? I don't know. Let's get one more for um, Libra on this. Seven of Swords and Three of Coins. Ooh, the home. Someone feels that they put in... They, they are owed. Yeah, they're owed. Someone feels like they're owed. When they didn't even put the time and or the effort in... This whole, they didn't see your value. All they cared about was money. And maybe a freebie, a free home. A free home to, you've got this money here. You, you like didn't, you didn't expose yourself as, 
as not being your true authentic self. Someone totally thought they could play a game, come in, live with you, take your money, not pay you rent, all that. I feel that for, for a lot of you. Like they took your kindness for granted without question. They wanted to live in your home and not pay rent or, or you know, any, any of it. Like taking responsibility, forget them paying rent. What about, you know, honoring your home and valuing your home as your home? They just like literally took advantage of everything thinking that you were going to do it all. And yeah, that hurts. It definitely hurts. Their pain is a lot different than yours though because someone thought you were like the doormat, that you weren't gonna say anything. <clears throat> someone got kicked out. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, they're still waiting. They're waiting, look, look at this guy. He's waiting. Look at that. He still thinks there's hope. We have Cancer, Aries, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Sag. Are you kidding me right now? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Hallelujah. I feel that it's you that you're grateful that you learned that someone if in order in order for you to have learned this lesson libra you almost needed to live with someone in order to see like how they really are i'm serious i think you got a real good a real good idea as to someone's hidden motives and intentions because they came in they lived with you they hardly gave anything like in terms of their energy to you it was all appeasing you i think they tried playing you i really do calling in your soulmate this is someone yeah the lessons you learn spiritual lessons through soulmates yeah and that's why it hurts so bad. Because this person is a soulmate. Aries, Leo, Sag, like I called the signs, right? This person's your soulmate, but guess what? They played, they played you. And now you know, you've learned a very valuable, many valuable lessons about not being, you know, treated like you don't, you're not of value by, I mean, maybe you didn't even think you, I feel like you didn't even see this person like that. I feel like you completely, completely cl like closed your eyes to the reality of someone who didn't have your best intentions at all. This already happened. You know, you get you you get kicked to the curb ultimately when when you know someone overrides their their welcome. It's like, no, I don't think so. You may be a soulmate, but I've learned a lot of lessons from you and you know what? Thank thank God. Thank them for not seeing the value in you. Because why do you want to be, why would anyone want to be with someone who doesn't value their them as, and see them for the beauty that Libras are? I mean, that's bullshit. And that's an understatement of what I really want to say. Uh, you know, come on. Someone took advantage of your kindness and, more importantly, your money. Not more importantly. Sorry, I digress. Someone saw you as being, oh, I, you know, I can go and live with Libra and I can have them take care of me and I'll just, you know, appease them. I'll, I'll just 
you know, breadcrumb them. That's what happened. And then that day came. Look at that. The day came when you said, I'm done. Absolutely. Without question, Libra just took, took the reins and said, you got to go. Okay. Unbelievable. Scorpio. Literally unbelievable. Scorpio, what's going on? Look at these three cards came out, and I know this is not just a fluke. You're hiding some secrets about how you feel. You're not telling people how you feel. Are you kidding me? Come on. All right, so what's new? What's new? What has, like, this is full moon stuff. So, Scorpios, whatever has ended, you have hidden your emotions about how you truly feel about how it's ended, why it's ended. It's been written already. It was written in the stars for this to end. It's written. There's the book. This is like the Akashic Records. Holding back. Why? We have cancer. Let's look at the high priestess real quick for Scorpio. Oh, look at that. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Is that shocking? No. Right? Secret. The hidden. Hidden feelings. That you just can't like, you know. You want to just. I feel like you don't want to. You don't want to feel for this person at all. I feel. You know, Scorpio, you really don't want to deal with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, right? Or you're, you're secretly still, you know, harboring feelings, yeah? Waiting for them, maybe? Look at, this is waiting for someone, maybe? I'm not sure. Let's look at the Four of Cups for Scorpio. I mean, it could be waiting for them. Oh, it's pain. You're you're hiding the fact that you're you're hiding the fact that you've been hurt, scorned, hurt. Gemini Libra Aquarius or Gemini Libra Aquarius is the one who's like, "Wow, I thought you were the one." And apparently not, right? Because there's shit that you haven't revealed. Not shit, but yeah. All right, let's get one more. No, oh, well, Ten of Cups. There you go. That's the secret. The hidden is about someone who was loyal. You have someone here very loyal, has doggies, loves life, loves living, wants to be happy and be in a full-on commitment. And I feel, Scorpio, that you were not able to give this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you, you just couldn't do it. It just isn't in your, you're just not ready. You're, you didn't want it, whatever. Death card, it's your card, let's see. So it ended. Yeah, you're not gonna tell. You're not telling anybody how you feel. Especially, uh, sorry, but not sorry, yourself. Two different people. <laughs> it's so funny. This is someone who's like batshit crazy. You may think that that person's batshit crazy, but remember the mirror has two faces. And that's what I'm talking about. Scorpio. Someone who made you happy, who you wanted to settle down with, who you wanted a life with, you know, the loyalty of another. And for some Scorpios, you were dealing with someone who was already married. I mean, come on. But total opposites attract, vibe. But the problem is that the truth of how you feel 
was not ever revealed. Maybe you were just like fearful of being, you know, in another commitment or they can't get out of a commitment they're already in. All right. It's time for me to heal now. So it is time. It's time to heal. You and or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are healing. And they're telling me, knowing that you gave it your all or they know they gave it their all. There's nothing else you can do. I know I crossed the line with you. There you go. Someone crossed the line. Someone crossed the line by not being genuine. It's either you or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who else did I say we have here? Cancer. Pisces. Yeah, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I mean, I know you're Scorpio, but it could be another Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And it could be another water sign, or it's air, for sure. I see the air more than I see anything here. All right. Tell me about Scorpio healing and letting go. Romantic feelings. Maybe you have romantic feelings now for someone else. I feel that you, you really are feeling deeply for this person, but it's almost like I have to learn the lessons and move on. Soulmate. There it is. We had this in Libra's reading as well. So you could have been dealing with a Libra, maybe moon. But no doubt about it, Scorpio. This soulmate was there for you to learn the lessons about what level of love that you that you can commit to and you can't commit to. And that's where this comes in. Here it is. What you are not capable of and what you are capable of in the essence of someone's heart whom you were not able to give that commitment to. And, and that's just the real deal. They are the real deal. But you, even with the romantic feelings that you have for another, this is a lesson to be learned about sharing sharing your feelings with another with and being vulnerable without being afraid to do so. So now is the time to heal. And the crossing the line, well, there could have been like many facets of the high priestess where someone didn't want you to know certain things. I mean, you or you didn't want them to know certain things. And that's the price we pay in any relationship, right? And moving on. Take the lessons and move on and find joy and peace and happiness. I mean, truly. If someone was already in a committed relationship and Scorpio, you thought they could get out of it or they would get out of it, that's not going to happen because they already have a family whether it's children and or dogs. That is their children. All right. Saggies. Oh, Saggy came out. I love it. This is the mischief maker, though. This is like uh, the baby maker. I just heard the baby maker. Oh, my gosh. A new beginning for you, Saggies. Oh, my God. I'm so glad to see this. But I'm going to tell you right now, a new beginning for sure, but I'm going to tell you, this is a page. So this is a new beginning for you, a new life, but make sure, Sagis, your new life is about following your intuition and not your physical, sexual attraction to another. I feel like... You're all about, you know what, I'm going to go get some and I don't care who knows. Like you're scorned. There's a little like this happened, right? A breakup, a marriage, a live-in. And now you like, 
you're searching for yourself once again. And that is a good thing to search for yourself. But in the meantime, follow your intuition and where it's head, what where it's pointing you in what direction. But that triangle makes me feel like you're um, you're like you know what I'm going and messing around and I don't care who knows it. If they can fuck around, so can I. That's how I feel. You feel right now. Look at his. Look at this child's face. If a child Saggy is involved, I've said it before to Saggy's, and I will say it again, the child is the most important part of, you know, laying down your sword. The truth, find out how the child feels. Talk with this child, if this is your child, an Aries, another fire sign, Leo Sag, whatever. I feel like one child in particular could be having it rough. And I've, I've said it before. And in, and in the meantime, you're searching for you again. Yeah. You're definitely on path of who am I? We're going to take this one. Yeah, who am I? And this comes with, like I said, this is a scorned. You're like some of you going through divorce or separation or what have you. This is scorned. You're scorned by what has happened. So some of you are going to be like very mischievous going out and getting some or doing, you know, just like, fuck it. I'm going to just, you know, people go crazy after a breakup and especially one that was a marriage or something substantial like a long-term live-in or whatever. The iguana is there to tell, to actually help you to get out of your ego mindset and be more in tune with your intuition and how you're feeling without using the wand for your own pleasure principle. So you could be doing that. I'm just going to say some of you could be so scorned and hurt by something that happened. It, you know, it already obviously blew up. It was like this. If you haven't seen the Sag November, December, even October, I feel it started. So, Page of Wands, please, for Sag. Someone needs strength. Someone needs the strength of the lion. It may be your child. If you aren't, if you pay attention to how your kids are reacting to what's going on in your world right now. Okay? The change has to be how you're thinking and like you want revenge. Some of you want revenge. Look at his face. I mean, I'm not kidding. Look at that. He's like, I don't care who I hurt. I don't care what, what, what was done to me was not fair, and I'm going to do it to someone else. Don't go there, Sagis. Please. Find the strength to kind of take a step back. Yeah, you're all in your head. Oh my God. I'm like thinking, I'm thinking you, you want revenge. You know, the stages of grief are real. After we like, after we come to the ter terms with the fact that someone is walking out on us, leaving our lives, divorcing us, whatever it is, then those stages of grief happen and one of them is well obviously anger and revenge I want to feel that way again so you're going out and parting it up with maybe maybe you got back on you know you're on tinder or something and you're like having a field day having fun but the bottom line is you're doing you're doing it 
so you don't feel. I remember every detail of that day. So that's exactly what's happened. Someone said, I want out. I want a divorce. I'm done. This is it. And you're like, what did you say? And then you can't, it's like we, the first, the first emotion in grief is not being able to absorb it. Like, what did you say? And then you go through the anger and wanting ultimate revenge. Calling in your soulmate. Do you know how many people are learning their lessons with a soulmate right now? At least three signs got that card. Soulmates are here to teach us lessons. I know that when we say soulmate, we label this person who's supposed to be our end all be all, but end up to be someone that I had to learn from. Someone that you, that you taught or they taught you. Some harsh truths are being revealed. An Aquarius might be telling you, listen, bro. You got to not go out there and try and get revenge or try and feel like you're going to be back in love again with someone on Tinder because mm, that's an immature way of looking at things. So, Saggies, for sure. Look at what's going on around you and find yourself again. We find ourselves every day. We're recreating ourselves every day. The beauty of life. Just don't, Sagis, don't go out saying, you know what, someone hurt me and I'm getting, I'm get, I'm going to, I have this vendetta against all women and or men. Because that will come to haunt you, ultimately. Because we live on, on the earth plane of the laws of the universe, which is, you know, karma. Okay. Capricorn. Okay, so you came out. That's beautiful. Thank you, Capricorn. Tell me what you want to tell me. Oh, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it, right? I love that. Capricorn, you have someone who's really... This is like... Okay, we're done. You found someone whom you love or did you leave and you are missing someone that you have who is someone that you've loved. All right, so this could be someone that you, this could be another, uh, sorry, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You do have a connection of marriage and or live in. Someone who sees and values you the same way that you do. But with the Eight of Cups, I feel someone walked away like eight months or eight years ago. And it's hard to, to let go. I feel this person is predominantly in your life. Watching over you, maybe like a mother figure. And may, you may want a new beginning with them or you're starting a new venture with them. Maybe you're going into business with an ex, ex-wife, ex-husband. Maybe someone wants a new beginning and says, let's get back together. Do you, what do you think? Someone's trying to really be strong and bold, like I'm saying Hercules here. Someone wants to move mountains. Superman, he almost has that Superman vibe. Let me get the Eight of Cups for Capricorn. Who is this? Oh, it's someone, yeah, this is someone who is no longer in your life. I feel you, you may want another chance at 
an ex-husband, ex-wife. I feel that you want another chance at, at this love. I think time has passed, eight months, eight years. We're really different, but maybe I didn't really share how I really felt about you. And now I, I'm willing to open up. Wow, Capricorn, someone whom you've been attached to or wanting is opening up. Will Maybe they didn't, but now they're ready. You have the Ace of Pentacles here. They're ready to open up and tell you how they feel. Maybe maybe you've had a chance to reevaluate over the past. You know, people, you know how many couples, well, I don't know. I don't know statistically how many couples get back together after, right? Are you worried if you, like, even attempted to get back together that it would be a no? Let's see. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel that this answer is going to be very stern. The truth, you're going to have someone who's going to tell you the truth about how they feel about you for sure. This, this person could have, okay, so Capricorn, you could have been married with right with your person and you didn't show your affections or feelings at the time and another person stepped in and you had a relationship with a, a Gemini Libra Aquarius whom left who who like is gone maybe it could have been a third party love situation where they left because they couldn't deal with you still feeling for your ex. I feel that that's truly what a lot of you are dealing with right now. Or someone doesn't like, someone wants you to stay away from this person. They don't like you with someone back again. They don't want you to be with them again. A child is telling you, just go for it. Maybe one of your daughters says, oh my God, dad, are you crazy? You're going to go back to mom? That kind of vibe. I feel that big time. I feel like you're going to make an offer, Capricorn, to an ex. Now, of course, it's not going to, it's not going to resonate with everyone. And I feel that someone's not, I, I don't know why I'm itching this. It's itching like crazy over here. You're itching to go back to someone that you've loved for a long time and maybe dealt with you, knew how to deal with your idiosyncrasies. And isn't that what love is? Knowing how to deal with someone else's idiosyncrasies. You came closer than anyone. Hello. That's exactly what's going on. And I feel like you're having some reminiscing you know maybe you know you're gonna see that person for the holidays for christmas and you're like wow i i really kind of feel like i might have screwed it up i didn't you know we we had so many differences but yet now i see in hindsight i see what that your person gave gave to you i wish i had treated you better yep that's exactly what this is. I feel that you really could have stuck it out, but someone was too immature at some at some point of the marriage or relationship to deal. And I think this is a daughter that says, are you kidding me? Hold on. A daughter, a mother, yeah, look it. A daughter and or a mother saying, you better think about this really good because once you make this decision to go back to mom or dad, you know, that's going to be like, that's going to be it. You can't, you can't do what you did again. The same, you can't do the same thing as you did before. You can't fuck around or you can't not be honest or you, you have to be like your real self. 
You have to be vulnerable. You have to show mom how you feel or dad. I think a child's intervening here. Romantic feelings. I feel like you're totally getting back feelings for an ex. Soulmate. Again. So. Many soulmates. After they learn their lessons and time has gone by. Some get back together. Because the ego steps to the side. The ego steps to the side. And the feelings take over. Like even if they're a page. Like Capricorn, you've been dealing with literally with, if this isn't like a daughter or whatever, a friend, a BFF, whatever. I feel like your ego's been playing havoc on your decision Look at your ego's been playing with your emotions like massive. But then you're like, you know what? I can't get rid of this feeling. These romantic feelings are coming back again for those Capricorns that have that had a long term marriage or, a, you know, a, a live in f that, you know, it was a real serious relationship. You came closer than anyone. So if you are, if you were just dating someone and you didn't treat them right, now you're like, and you know, looking back saying, you know what? I may want to revisit this because I feel bad because I still have feelings for this person. If it's not, I feel it's a, it's a marriage, but it doesn't have to be a soulmate. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It's definitely a relationship where you're having maybe a convo with one of your daughters and they're saying, you better like be certain that this is what you want to do because you can't, you can't go back to the old ways. You know, mom and or dad won't take you back that way that you were. You can't not show how you feel. So yeah. You've changed, Capricorn. That's beautiful, honestly. I'm really, you know what? I'm going to tell all of you Capricorns, if this is your story, listen, comment below, because honestly, that's a beautiful thing to literally acknowledge that you were, that you were in the wrong and that you want to make things right. That takes a lot. Okay, Aquarius. A new beginning. I love that. Okay, so these came out. So, Aquarius, some of you really want a new beginning, but you're stuck on looking back a little in your head. You're stuck in your head about, like, what what happened, What what's, you know... Who's left me and or have I left? And where does that leave me in terms of who am I? Who am I? Do you know? I think you're going through a whole revamp of how you're feeling. And your ego is this palace of swords, right? It's like... Don't let your ego of your own thoughts, negative thought, thoughts, override the good memories and or what happened or what was to be or what happened and or what didn't happen. You got to kind of let it go. You do. You have to let this go in order to start. So to get out of your head and start a new get a, you know just start all new Aquarius means those that we've lost and loved right they change us this changes us now 
this doesn't necessarily mean a breakup or an ending. It could mean someone's going, you know, a far distance or not so far, but they're leaving for purposes of they have to go for a minute. We have Aries here. Someone may have taken up a position, right, in another location, for sure. These are other locations. Someone needs to go maybe for three months to do a job that's at a distance, and you're like, okay, so what am I going to do with myself during this time, right? Let's just get... Um, a card for, uh, for Aquarians on the Three of Wands and the Palace of Swords. Have faith. You must have faith in everything that, that you know what, Aquarius, if you're in a relationship or marriage or an, something ended, whatever, that you had faith in this relationship or someone's leaving and you're like, okay, now are they going to, you know, are they coming back? to be with me? Will they still love me when they're gone? Maybe they, you know, a job set someone on a new course for a minute. You know what I mean? And Aquarius, you're like, okay, I got to find myself in all of this. And I have to, above all, keep my faith that this person and I are going to manage the, the distance between us. One more. <clears throat> it's going to be a complete change. Someone's going to go through a complete rebirth. And or you have been. We have Taurus, Scorpio, Aries. I feel you're going to be totally different having this time off or going through this like three month hiatus. It could be three years, but I'm feeling three months. Like the back and forth. You'll visit them, they'll visit you. Have faith it's going to work. For some of you, you're scared it's going to end. Or for some of you, it did end, and you're like, you want that person back, or you're, you're reminiscing about, wow, I was ready you know, I was literally ready to move in and make a commitment. We both know I'm not the one for you. All right, so this came, the, the reality of the situation, for those of you who have lost a love, a love that you felt was really your person, <clears throat> you kind of knew it deep down inside that this wasn't the person for you, Aquarius. So you moved on. For others, maybe this was, is, is, sorry, this is a continuation of what ended now will be reborn. Finding out the truth crushed me. So something's, something might have happened where, <clears throat> excuse me, an ending of a relationship happened, you know, <clears throat> and you knew and you knew it was going to happen, but you didn't want to face the fact that it was going to happen. Let me look at what truth crushed Aquarius or vice versa. That someone wanted leaving. Someone was lifting their energy. Someone was looking for a new love. I think this already happened. For some of you, okay, so the, the situation is like this. Some of you lost someone who you knew for sure they weren't the person for you, right? You were dating them. Everything was great. Sorry, I'm messing. Um, everything was great. You were ready to commit. And then, you know, you kind of knew in your heart of hearts that you weren't on the same page, right? Right? You lost yourself for a minute. You've had time to, re, to reinvent yourself, rebirth, work on yourself. 
you may have found during the course of time in between that that person was dating someone else or was looking for someone else and it's crushed you. But I can't, I can't emphasize enough that you, we both knew I'm not the one for you. So for some of you, it's a finality, the finality of someone found someone else or knows that, that you guys just can't mesh together for others because this full card came out and the rebirth card came out. You are rebirthing something that already ended into a full-on commitment. And maybe the point of knowing that you weren't or they weren't the one for you meant who was going to make a real commitment here? Or are we just playing around? Are we just playing around? You know what I mean? I almost forgot a love card. How could I do that to my beautiful Aquarians? Come on. Aquarians. Engagement. See, that's exactly what was going on. I'm telling you right now. The end of a relationship caused someone to say, Oh my God, I am I lost this person. I don't want to do that again. And I'm going to make a full-on commitment. And that's what it is. So you get engaged. I love it. Because someone may have gone and found someone. Okay, so for some of you, they did go and get engaged to someone else. But for many of you, I'm feeling this, this opened up. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze. This opened up. Someone, someone realized how much you meant and value you. And they don't want to lose you. So they're making a full-on commitment. If it's not engagement, a real engagement, it's an engaging of getting together and moving in together so you can have a life with each other. Knowing, I think some of you just thought, I really do. I think you or your person, Aquarius, thought that you weren't good enough and that's not the case at all. I think someone really changed their, their tune because they were really worried. They knew you were out with maybe someone and it was serious or they knew you were going to potentially find someone and they couldn't take that chance of losing you. Okay, Pisces. That's what, that's what, that's how love shows up. These are too many. Do you know what I mean? That's how love truly shows up. It's like in the 11th hour. All right, let me focus on Pisces. Pisces, look at that, the money, money, money. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Seven of Cups. So I feel, wow, look at this. Pisces, you and or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are getting like money coming from all areas. Areas that you may not even have expected. Wow, this could be a lawyer. This doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, someone, uh, um, you know, a lover, a live-in, whatever, a, a spirit, um, oh, I heard spiritual, a spiritual person. This is maybe a lawyer who's, who's going to call you and say, okay, your money's here and you're getting more than you thought. Yeah, look. And it's going to give you, for sure, peace of mind. This is going to make you feel really good, Pisces. Money, money, money. And from all different, uh, I'm not going to say platforms, but for some it's platforms, but for others it's coming in 
you know, um, from other vices. I feel like you're, you're getting money that you didn't even know. This is giving you peace of mind. I feel some of you are going to upgrade your home with the money coming in. Let's look at the seven of cups. This is from spirit, obviously. And we thank, oh my God, yes. Are you kidding? So I'm gonna say, Pisces, thank God. Thank God that money's coming in at the appropriate, the right divine timing. This is divine timing. And from other avenues, areas of, you know, where you didn't think, maybe you didn't think you were going to get as much. Oh, love. Look at that. Love and, oh, in love. Pisces, this could be, this could be not just a lover, like not a lover, but a, a soul connect. You could be meeting a soul connect, but it also could mean that the seven of cups is about, like if you're single, you, you're meeting the one. You're meeting the one that meets all of, meets all of your emotional needs. Um, for others, it's a, a plethora of avenues of income, streams of income of work that you've loved and love to do. Okay. Cause you can't forget we have the palace of coins here. So it's the work you do. It's how you help others. It's the faith that you put in to yourself and what you love doing. You've been praying. I'm not, we're not going to lie here, right? You've been praying that this lawyer's lawyer calls you up and says, okay, you know, Merry Christmas. You know what I mean? I love you. Oh my God. This is from spirit heaven. This is heaven sent a father. This is our father. Oh my God. I, I like, I'm like, oh my God. That's how I feel. You know that feeling, right? Don't we know that feeling, Pisces? Where something just comes in and you're like, oh my God, thank you. That you've been praying for. And it just happens. I love this. I can't even like, oh my gosh. That's all I can say. I'm so happy for you, Pisces. This is going to give you peace of mind. I feel that's a lawyer. If not, it's a masculine Gemini Libra Aquarius. It could be an inheritance, family, forgiving and learning. Look at that. Yep. You have fun. Oh, there's one. It's like, oh my God, that's exactly how this is going to go down. This is good. This money coming in and this love, love of what we do and or the money, the finances of and or from a loved one um, is going to be like, oh my God, there's a, there's more flirt. So some of you are flirting and meeting the one who's going to emotionally make you feel so wow. Someone sees your value, Pisces, and loves you. This also could mean a father in heaven. Our heavenly father is saying now is the time for Pisceans to receive. I love this. And look at you have someone on the other side who's definitely saying you're doing good, working on yourself. You've worked on yourself. You're forgiving people in your life. You're loving more, which how could that even right be? Look at this, the swans. Some of you, the swans is 
massive, but look at how they're looking at one another, right? Look at, look at the compassion and the love. You see that? That's true love. This is true love. It's not just flirtating. This is, it may start as flirting, but it's gonna, it's going to be, this person is your soul connect. And you've prayed for someone coming in and they're here. And the only thing that we can do after that is be grateful and thankful. Are you kidding me? Pisces. I am so happy about this reading. I can't even. Because Pisces, you've had it difficult for a while. Well, no more. No more. All right. Let's get a collective here because I've been rambling. I'll get one collective card. One card for the collective. And it's Jupiter. Yes! Jupiter is about expansion. Good fortune. Are you kidding? We are all being blessed with good fortune in ways that we may, may or may not see it as an immediate blessing, but it is. Whether we have lost, whether we have loved, loved and lost, whether we, we finally, the, the blessings of love come to us, whatever we are, have learned and whatever we are taught, and what we teach others. It's about flipping the switch. It's about really looking at our lives. We're closing out another year. Let's make this a different, a different year, closing out of a year. Let's make this year a year of really, and I'm not just saying it, a year of counting our blessings, every breath, every day. Do we, do we see it as a miracle? You see on social media, you see how many deaths are happening out there. I mean, deaths happen every day. But we always think, oh yeah, well, that's not going to happen to us. You know what I mean? So let's really take Jupiter for what Jupiter is granting all of us. And that is the blessings of expanding, knowing thyself. We have the two, this is the self. As above, so below. Let's be grateful for our health, for whatever blessings of fortune, and or just knowing that we are granted another day. Even when Jupiter is in retrograde, even, and more importantly, when any planet is in retrograde, that's even more reason to celebrate and rejoice what we have, even when we don't have it. All right. It's all about the power of love. Remember that. Okay. I send you all my love, and I send you all the blessings of whatever it is that you desire. Take care. Thank you so much for all of your support. Please like and subscribe. And we have a whole new year coming up. So I'll talk to you soon. Take care.